Hey everyone, I'm Brock with PDQ. Today we're going to be talking about PDQ deploy conditions. Uh, if you're wondering what conditions are, conditions are settings that you can set at the package and step level to make sure that you're targeting the right devices with your deployments. Okay, we'll go ahead and hop into PDQ deploy here and I'll show you what we're talking about. Let's use this uh, Dropbox package as a good example. We'll open that up. And first I want to show you, so here at the properties level, so this is going to be your package level. You can click on this conditions tab and those conditions that you set here are all going to be at the package level. And then if you look at the different steps, all these different steps also have a conditions tab and they all have the same settings you can set. Now the difference is if you set things at the package level, if a computer doesn't match the conditions, it's not going to deploy the package at all to that target. However, if you set a condition at the step level, the computer will still receive the package. It will only receive the steps that match the conditions for that computer, okay? So let's take a look at each of these conditions and kind of talk about what they do when you would use them. The first one we have here is the o OS version. This one should be pretty self-explanatory. In fact, a lot of these are pretty self-explanatory. But the OS version lets you go through and kind of pick and choose which operating systems you want to deploy this package to. You know, you can pick and choose here. You could uncheck all of the servers, for instance, if you wanted, like say you're deploying like iTunes or Dropbox or something, and you want to make sure that none of your servers got that package on accident. You could just uncheck all servers and you'll see that now this is only going to go out to all workstations. Moving on, we have the OS architecture. We have 32-bit and 64-bit. This is a good one, especially if you know you're deploying a package that is 64-bit only and you've got 32-bit devices. You want to make sure you're not accidentally deploying this package to those 32-bit devices because the you know the deployment's just going to fail. So make sure you go through and pick that accordingly. Your PowerShell version, this one's not as important anymore. Now that PowerShell, most people are running a new enough version of PowerShell that most scripts are going to work. If you do know that your environment has some PowerShell versions that are really old that may not work with a PowerShell script or you're running into errors, you might want to go through here and select certain versions that you're looking for to deploy a script to. We've got the logged in state here. And this one you can have set to always run, only run if no user is logged on, or only run if no user is logged on, including locked and disconnected. Uh, a good example of that is here at this Dropbox package. If I click on this start Dropbox step, you'll see that this is set to only run if a user is logged on. And that makes sense because you're not going to start Dropbox if a user is not logged on to the machine. Okay, we've got the uh, file condition here. Here you can set some options. You can set if a file exists, if it doesn't exist, and then you can kind of define those parameters here, uh, looking for directories, files, things like that. We've also got a similar condition for the registry where you can check to see if a certain registry exists or doesn't exist on a target. And we've also got the PDQ inventory collection. This is a great one say, hey, only deploy to this package or this step to computers that exist in this collection. Uh, one little hint for this, uh, or one little tip for this PDQ inventory collection, if you're going to run this a step with this condition on it, make sure you do a scan first. That way, all the information in PDQ inventory is as accurate as possible. You know, that way, if you get some computers that scanned and then just barely joined a collection, you know, they'll qualify for this condition. Otherwise, you might have computers that would have met the collection or the condition requirements, but now they don't because you haven't scanned them in a little bit. So anyways, guys, those are your different conditions. OK, these are really powerful. They'll really help you ensure that you're getting your packages deployed out to the right targets. OK, you know, especially like the workstations one, you don't want it to be deploying like if you don't want to deploy Chrome or something to those servers, make sure just go ahead and uncheck the servers from that package. Okay, it's just, a, it's just an easy way to ensure those packages are getting out to the right targets, okay? So anyways, if you uh, got any questions, leave us a comment down below and make sure to like and subscribe. I'm Brock with PDQ.